What up, YouTube? What up, Flow Nation? It's your guy, Jason. Um, a lot of people have been asking me if I'm all right, haven't been making videos. Honestly, really haven't been in the mood. Lost a bunch of family members in the last month and a half. Real close family members, not like second cousins or even cousins. Um, really close family members, three of them for a matter of fact in a month and a half. Started with my pops, then it went downhill from there. So I really haven't been in the mood to make videos. But I'm feeling good, I'm back. Um, I, I wouldn't be running anyways because it's summer here. 115, 118 degrees, just not worth it to me. I have no urge to go out there and sweat my ass off trying to get a run down. Um, the, the foams, when I run on this temperature, um, I've actually temperatured the ground and it's like 124 right outside of my house. The foams actually get a coating on them. And I don't know if it's the foam literally melting, but it's just not worth it at $35, $38, $40 a set um, to sit there and ruin them. So in the summer when I can't run, guess what I'm going to be running? You got it. I got some boats. Um, we'll start with the white one right here. This is a Pro Boat. I think Sonic Wake, I think it's called. Here, I'll pop this off the stand real quick. Pro Boat. Sonic Wave, got to represent the flow pack. Um, I got a bunch of boats coming. Not a bunch, three. So I got that. It's a version two Sonic Wave, I guess. Get this one out of the way real quick. And then I got another Sonic Wave version two. One of them I'm keeping bone stock, uh, which was the white one. And uh, gonna see what I can do with it, with uh, bone stock setup, other than the change in the prop out. And this one is another V2. Pro Belt V2. Um, this one's going to be modified and we'll see what it can do. And then here comes the big dog, guys. This is going to be the one that uh, I'm going to go chase numbers with. All these actually, I'm going to chase numbers. I'm a speed runner at heart. So we're going to take this one right here and we're going to go get some numbers with it, guys. Badass right there. That thing right there is going to rip. Check this out. What? what? No, this is a rescue boat. I'm just kidding. This one ain't gonna rip. Rip about three miles per hour to go save my boats after I crash. If I crash. No, for real though, this is what I wanted to show you guys. And there's a lot with this video. Um, people have been asking me about bodies and stuff like that. And uh, we'll get to that in just a second. But here's my speed run boat. This is the one I'm going to go try to crack some numbers with, guys. Let's see. It's a JAE 33. And uh, did a lot of customizing to it to get it the way I want it. And it's an outrigger boat. Hopefully it works out really nice. Um, I think it looks good so far. Got all the tie downs. Uh, it don't come with none of that. Don't come with a lot of this stuff. I kind of customized it and changed some stuff on the sponsons. Uh, these are the Sponsons RC guys. RC car guys are probably mostly watching me. Um, changed a lot of stuff out on this. Right now I'm getting ready to do a wire drive for it instead of the uh, flex shaft. So uh, we'll get into boats a little more. I'm pretty new to boats. So it would really suck if I go out there and smash some numbers. huh? Um, but yeah, this is the one I'm going to try. I'm going to shoot for 150 on water. We'll see what happens. But let's go now. To the other side all right so one of the questions i was asked in the last week and a half um well two guys asked me actually in the last week and a half if i can make a vo video showing how i carbon fiber the inside or fiberglass the inside of my bodies i'm not doing that no more um there's a reason why so delta plastic bodies all bodies are pretty strong but this is what happened when you fiberglass them they will pull, the fiberglass, as you can see, will pull away from the plastic, right? Leaving you looking like that. And it looks like garbage. Don't matter. This one hasn't even been wrecked. It's just the fact of putting it on and off the car, taping it, stuff like that. It just kind of looks like crap. It looks like hell after a while. So um, I've tried everything. I've tried, uh, what is that stuff called? Shugu, before I put the epoxy in there. I've tried uh, spray adhesive. I've tried caulking i've tried everything liquid tape or whatever that stuff's called or uh flex seal sorry i thought since it'll float a screen boat that it'll work it don't work no matter what it's going to pull away from the plastic i haven't had a body yet that don't at least have a couple of these spots 
and it looks like crap. You don't want to be rolling like that. Look at that. It just pulls away. It looks like crap. So um, this is the Vendetta body, which, man, since I can't run, it's given me time to work on all the cars. I got the Vendetta ready to go. Um, when it goes back out, it's going to kick ass. I think the best I did was like 157 on 6S. Uh, I'm still not going to go to 8S. I believe I can hit 170 on 6S with that car very easily. Um, so, yeah. And we got some new parts coming out for that. So, what you're going to do. Here, I'll just leave this body out there. There's this stuff. Everybody knows it is. Gorilla tape. Waterproof patch seal tape. This one is white. It comes in clear and black. Here's the black right here. This stuff. Works underwater, indoor, outdoor, permanent bond, non-yellowing. So after you paint your body, if you have like a white body, then use the white. Don't go use the black because then it'll look grayish underneath. Um, you paint it red, maybe use the black if you want a dark color, a dark red. Um, if you paint it black or a dark color, use the black or you can even get the clear. But this stuff, guys, it's really thick. Really, really thick. It's like 0 0.808 millimeter. Um, pull off this backing on it. Oh, I just unwound it. But you pull off this backing. I see that stuff. That's the goop that's inside of it. This stuff is, is out of this world. After it sits for like 20 minutes, you will not get it off. So make sure your paint's top notch before you do it. Cut it to fit in there all over. You can double it up. It does stick to itself. And when it sticks to itself, forget about it. You barely put it down. There's no coming back. Um, but the thing with fiberglass is, man, you got to put on the PPE, the personal protective equipment, um, a mask, all that crap, dude. Goggles, because it's nasty crap. Fiberglass is nasty. It stinks. You got to let it cure. You got to hope that you do it right. Um, and then you, you know, most of the times when you go around the windows, that always leaves a weak spot right here with this gorilla tape. You can use the clear right over the window. It's going to be a little foggy, but it's not going to look bad or use grayish black or whatever it is. So, um, it works really good guys. I did it on a Jag body the other day. I put two layers right here and right here, actually down the middle, right down the middle, two layers. And, uh, it's really firm now. So that's what I'm sticking with now. And uh, I was bending the body. See, the thing is, with a lot of these bodies, especially Delta Plastics, there's a lot of bend. There's a lot of bend in the bodies. They're designed like that to take a crash. When you have a hard fiberglass in there, what happens is this. See that? The body's like brand spanking new. Look at the body. N like brand, brand new. But you hit something in the road. The body is going to crack and the fiberglass is going to stay there. Actually, this was carbon fiber. Just pieces in certain areas. Um, the body has nowhere to go, so it's just going to break. The, carb or the carbon fiber or the fiberglass makes it so rigid that when it hits something, it just cracks instead of flexing. So that's why I like this Gorilla Tape. It flexes with the body. It's going to give us the rigidity we need, but way easier, man. You don't have to go out there. It takes five minutes to to put this on the inside of a body uh it's a little pricey you know this one's like 13 bucks or 14 bucks it'll probably do one car and that's it um to wear fiberglass you know you buy a 20 dollar kit or go to three cars but this is the way to go man um telling you it's really good i even tried it uh, uh like i said on the jag body and i really like the way it's coming along so it's gonna be really good um now let's get to something else real quick